be heard and felt for miles. My fiance and I both heard this loud explosion and the windows started shaking. And prompted a huge emergency response and explosion at Dayton Power and Light's J.M. Stewart Generating Station in Adams County. Plant worker Matthew Meyer says the sound caught his attention immediately as he sat at a friend's home nearby. I heard a big boom, you know, and I thought they was just cleaning the units out like they usually do when I'm at work. You know, it's real loud. DPNL officials say six people were treated for non-life threatening injuries and everyone was accounted for following the explosion. An employee at the coal and diesel generator facility told us the explosion happened in unit one, a warehouse with a turbine he believed was the source of it all. He shared pictures, he says, show extensive damage and told us steam was pouring out of that area. He told us steam moves the turbines. It's just, it's crazy because there are so many friends that I got down there and people that I work with, you know, and just thankfully and luckily everybody was all right. Hundreds were sent home, according to an employee there today. People here say that's a blessing. Grateful no one died. Everybody's definitely going to be thankful that their loved ones are coming home from the power plant tonight. Tonight, DPNL officials say the plant is closed. They'll be assessing the facility and completing a full investigation before restoring operations. Right now, there's no timetable on that. Reporting in Adams County tonight, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.